Well, holy shit. Celtic free, Aberdeen free. Honestly, I will say the most intense, nerve wracking semi final I have seen in my life. Honestly, like, for the moment, obviously, Celtic were like 2 1 up. And then they let away a few opposition, a few chances to opposition, and then it hits level. You would have thought extra time they would have bloody scored it, which I was actually surprised sitting there. I'm sitting having a beer, and I, I, I was surprised that bloody it was like they wouldn't have got it in. Then it hits on to penalties, which I'm sitting there and I'm thinking at myself. We were fucking screwed. Like, I thought out my head that we were screwed. Because, obviously, the way I did know it's about the play was going a bit slow and etc. But, all in all, I can say, enjoyable game. It was decent to watch. I will say, I was lucky enough that Celtic got through in the end. A bit nerve-wracking. And, honestly, I will say, it was the most intense game, I would say. But to be fair, even saying that was the most intense, I think between that and then when I'd done the Rangers and Celtic 3-3 free, free draw at Ibrox, that was also quite intense as well, even though that was for the league and this is for the cup. But I will say going forward with Celtic, I will say I think they will obviously go on a win in the final. I think possibly a few changes will probably need to be done and I think they'll easily comfortably win it by, possibly I'm going to say 2-3-0. But even though yes, like obviously, like the last game against Rangers, anything could happen. Anything could happen. But I will say though, I will say, big credit to Joe Hart by the way, honestly. Some of the saves were alright, and then there were some that were a bit sloppy, but what do you expect? It's football. But I will also as well say... As well on this that I honestly do hope going forward with Celtic Football Club that some of these mistakes do end up getting sorted and you know when they try and sort wee bits out there and there. I mean obviously people could put blame on the board, there's people who can put blame on the manager, the players but if we look at the small details we each game and they get better and better then that's how we know we improve. And I think that's the one thing I've noticed with a few people I pretty much know who just constantly think, oh, we'll win, we'll win the league in this. But I think the way we need to as well do it is analyse each game, know the mistakes we've made, how we can improve it, and basically just in how we can be better as a football club. Because obviously even saying it, like, this, I will say watching that was intense. And honestly now... I'm fucking bricking it for when we versus Rangers in the final. Now, I personally think in that game, that could go either way. We could see another penalty shootout. We could see a 3-3 free -free draw again. And then go into pens. We could see either Celtic or Rangers winning it 2-0, 3-0, whatever. But a lot could happen. And I also just want as well say, this is me giving my thoughts and predictions on this. If anyone does have anything they want to say about the game, or anything I've missed out on, basically, with anything I've said, please let me know in the comments. And yes, I will see you guys in the next one.